welcome to the strength of materials efficiency of cylinders theory and numerical in this video we will see related to the efficiency of a joint cylindrical shells such as boilers are having two types of joints namely one is longitudinal joint and one more is circumferential joint in case of a longitudinal or a joint holes are made in the material of the shell so we can see whenever there is a joint so if, if we consider this type of a particular shell okay so we are not able to get the whole shell as with one sheet we will be able to have the sheets number of sheets in this way or the number of sheets will be joined in the longitudinal way in this way okay then we are able to see some part of the riveting joints are there so here is one rivet here is one rivet riveting joints are made on the particular boilers we can see the rivets in this way also sometimes so these are called as the riveted joints on the shell so shell of for a rivets due to the holes so these holes whatever the holes we are providing here are the area offering resistance decreases as the area goes on so the some of the holes will be there this deduction part will be there so that area offering resistance will be decreasing due to the decrease in the area <clears throat> the stress developed in the material of the shell will be more will be more so now the material of a shell will be more as we are considering in this so now riveted shell the circumferential and longitudinal stresses are greater than the what are given by the equations sigma f that is circumferential stress and sigma l longitudinal stress to know the efficiency of the longitudinal joint and means we are finding out what efficiency we require the efficiency so efficiency is what is the most important part in this joint joint and circumferential joint are given then the circumferential and longitudinal stresses are obtained as below so how we are going to obtain so let nl efficiency of longitudinal joint and nc efficiency of circumferential joint clear so like this way we are going to consider the particular things the circumferential stress circumferential stress sigma c is given by <coughs> sigma c is equals to p d into that is p into d pressure into diameter divided by 2 times thickness into nl nl is what nl is longitudinal efficiency longitudinal efficiency okay so this part we know that longitudinal efficiency similarly and longitudinal stress sigma l is given by sigma l p into d divided by 4 times of nc this nc is the efficiency circumferential efficiency circumferential efficiency in longitudinal joint the circumferential stress is developed whereas in circumferential joint the longitudinal stress is developed it is vice versa okay it is vice versa in longitudinal die, uh, joint circumferential stresses is uh, coming means when we are considering the particular lengthwise joint lengthwise joint is there that time the circumferential joint will, uh, stresses will be coming okay then when the circumferential joints are there means when the circular part is there okay in this part there is a circle part okay so here the circumferential joints are there let us consider the circumferential joints in this the longitudinal stress will be coming clear efficiency of a joint means the efficiency of 
longitudinal joint if efficiency of joint are given the thickness of the thin shell is determined from the equation sigma c p into d divided by 2 times n l if it is for the the circumferential stress <coughs> similarly let us consider one of the numerical in the part so in this numerical part i am able to tell you the clear numericals in this way that this thing question number 1 a boiler is subjected to we can see a boiler is subjected to an internal steam pressure of 2 newton per mm square the thickness of the boiler plate is 2 centimeters and permissible the permissible stress is 120 newton per mm square find out the maximum diameter find out the maximum diameter when the efficiency so we need to find out what is the efficiency so when efficiency of longitudinal joints is 90 percent and that of circumferential joint is 40 percent so here they have given the efficiencies they have given the efficiencies first we need to find out what is this part so efficiencies are given so we can say that n c and n l are already given means we need not to find out the neta c and neta l okay so efficiency of circumferential efficiency of longitudinal stress is already given in the question so what is to be determined they are asking us to determine find out maximum diameter so they require what is the maximum diameter so required is diameter how much is the diameter when when the internal pressure internal pressure is 2 newton per mm square and what is the thickness thickness of the boiler plate is 2 centimeters and permissible stress so sigma permissible if we consider okay so sigma permissible stress is how much they are giving 120 newtons per mm square is the given value okay so these all datas are given nc that is circumferential stress they have given 40 percentage nl they have given it as 90 percentage so these are all the given data this is what we are find has to be determined so let us continue with the solution part <clears throat> i'll first write down the given data what is there and how it is given okay so for solution internal steam pressure i will write internal steam pressure p is equals to 2 newtons per mm square then thickness thickness of boiler plate okay that is t is equals to 2 centimeters what is given that value we need to find out okay then permissible permissible tensile stress it is permissible tensile stress is equals to 120 newton per mm square so these are the given datas 1 2 this is 2.0 make a correction two centimeters okay so let us find so we need to find out <coughs> in case in case of a joints
the permissible stress is given okay so it may be may be either circumferential stress or it may be longitudinal stress okay we don't know which is that so also what they have given is efficiency they have given efficiency of longitudinal joint So efficiency of longitudinal joint is neta L is equals to that is 90 percent. So 90 percent we require to write it as 90 divided by 100 which will be 0 0 gets cancelled 10 gets here one decimal. So 0 0.9. Similarly efficiency of circumferential joint n c is equals to 40 percent given so we are writing 40 divided by 100 so it is 0 0.42 values <coughs> clear now, what is the most important maximum diameter of circumferential stress is given by what? We know the formula sigma L if we take a longitudinal stress PD divided by 2 times T into NL. Okay, so we know that. Now, where we will take sigma L is equals to permissible, permissible stress. Okay, this part. So, permissible stress is how much? It is given to Newton, uh, sorry, permissible stress is given as how much? 120 Newton per mm square. Okay. So, let us continue with the further solution part. <coughs> so, in this solution part further, we will be considering like this that Therefore, 120 is the maximum permissible into is equals to 2 times dia that is 2 is pressure d is dia divided by 2 thickness that is t 2 centimeters into eta l 0 0.9 0 0.9. Okay, so by this we will be cross multiplying that the equation will turn into therefore d is equals to okay 120 into 2 into 2 0 0.9 divided by 2. Okay? So therefore d diameter is 216.0 centimeters. So, let us keep this as first value. I will keep this as first value. Okay. One more time I have to find maximum diameter for longitudinal stress is given by okay that is sigma c circumferential pd divided by 4 times t 
and C. Okay, in this equation we need to substitute. So when we are considering the things in this part of value, we need to understand. <coughs> okay, so now this way. So when where sigma C is equals to permissible value now again. Sigma C will be again permissible stress that is equals to 120 Newton per mm square and therefore substituting the value into this 120 into sorry 120 equal to it is Two times diameter pressure divided by 4 into thickness into here 40 percent efficiency is there. So, uh, rewriting this, therefore, diameter is equals to 120 multiplied by 4 into 2 into 0 0.4 divided by 2. So, therefore, diameter we get one more value as 192 centimeters let us take this as second part now in this we have two values one is this value one is this value and second one is this value so out of first value we get this as 216 0 centimeters and second one we get as 192.0 centimeters. So, which value we need to consider will be the question in this. So, we need to see that <coughs> whatever the longitudinal stress or circumferential stress are induced in the material in the material okay so in material and are directly directly proportional to the diameter to the diameter hence the stress induced will be less if the value of D is less. So, in this we need to consider which is the value of less. So, hence <coughs> take the minimum value of D calculated okay, which is the minimum value we have calculated. So, maximum diameter so for 1 we get 216 1 is and one more is D is equals to 192 centimeters. So, which is minimum? This is minimum. Okay. So, hence maximum diameter D is equals to 192 centimeters. So, like this we need to understand the 
particular dimensions are to be determined and the efficiencies are to be found clear so this is the first numerical which we have to see in this part then comes the numerical number 2 wherein this part is having the second numerical in second numerical <clears throat> a boiler shell is to be made of 15 mm thick plate having a limiting tensile stress of 120 newton mm square if the efficiency of longitudinal and circumferential joints are 70 percent 30 percent so make out what is all given data and internal pressure 2 newtons permissible intensity of internal pressure when the shell diameter is 1.5 times so here two types of questions are there first uh, second and first so one by one we will solve it okay first they are finding out is what is maximum permissible diameter second they are giving us diameter what is the permissible intensity of internal pressure is to be determined so let us find out what is the data are given so one is given data the thickness of the plate they have given that is t t value they have already given to us then limiting tensile stress so permissible stress is already given to us that is 120 newton per mm square so already known to us then comes longitudinal efficiency and circumferential efficiency is also given so longitudinal is 70 circumferential is 30 okay so nita l is equals to 70 percentage and nita c is equals to 30 percentage clear then we are required to determine in first case what is the diameter when the internal pressure is 2 newton per mm square and in second part if the diameter is 1.5 meters 1.5 meters okay so they have already given 1500 mm it is what is the internal intensity pressure okay so vice versa question is here so we know the solution part i will not take much descriptive in this thickness t is equals to how much 15 mm 15 mm then limiting tensile stress limiting tensile stress which is equals to how much 120 newton per mm square this is here okay then efficiency longitudinal and circumferential we are required to write so efficiency is nita c is equals to 30 percentage which is equals to 0 0.3 I have already explained in previous problem how it comes as 0 0.3 nita l is equals to 70 percentage which is equals to 0 0.7 okay so this is the value so first part first question so this this value we are going to find out in this also they have given the limiting stress so finding out the first value so two conditions are there we require to find out with circumferential joints also and longitudinal joint also so circumferential stress and longitudinal stress both we need to determine okay so in this first part i will take at is a okay so in this i will take taking limiting value is equals to limiting value of tensile stress 
is equals to circumferential stress. Okay, so that is sigma c is equals to I'll take it as one twenty newton per mm square. We have okay that is sigma c is equals to one value that is sigma c one formula and sigma d l one formula okay so in this permissible stress as sigma l and sigma c we need to take it clearly understood so that why we need to understand it more clearly so sigma c is circumferential stress that is p d divided by 2 times t into sigma n eta c okay this is the stress which we have to consider in this part we will have the 120 here and find out what is the value of this. So, therefore, diameter is equals to sigma c into 2 times t into sigma nita c divided by p is the value. Okay. So, substituting these values 120 multiplied by 2 into 0 0.7 that is the efficiency into 15 mm the thickness divided by p is how much 2 which is equals to 1260 mm first value then going for second value in second value we will find out for longitudinal stress so b part taking limiting Tensile stress is equals to longitudinal stress. So, sigma L is equals to <coughs> PD by OT eta L. Okay. So, Uh, this part is nita c this is sigma l ok that is in confrontation so circumferential will be coming here here let us write down 120 is equals to 2 times d divided by 4 into 15 to 0 0.3 so, rewriting this value d is equals to what is the diameter value we will get 120 multiplied by 4 into 15 into 0 0.3 divided by 2 which is equals to 1080 mm so this is second value so which one we will be considering so therefore maximum diameter d is equals to the minimum value clear this will be then coming for second part now <coughs> permissible intensity of internal pressure okay so when 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 it is when shell diameter is 1.5 meters which is equals to 1500 mm first part again Sigma C is equals to 
120 newton per mm square so in this part we will take the diameter and find out the value of p so that is sigma c is equals to pd divided by 2 in l into t okay so which is equals to 120 is equals to p into 1500 mm divided by 2 into 0 0.7 into 15 therefore p is equals to 120 into 2 into 0 0.7 into 15 divided by 1500 so value comes out to be 1.6 8 newton per mm square the first value <coughs> then going for second part b that is sigma l 120 newton per mm square sigma l is equals to pd by 4 into sigma nita c into t that is 120 is equals to p into 1500 divided by 4 into 0 0.3 into 15 mm is the thickness therefore p is equals to 120 into 4 into 0 0.3 into 15 divided by 1500 <coughs> what is the value 1.4 newton per mm square let us take this as second one in both the conditions uh, in order to the conditions may be satisfied okay the maximum permissible internal pressure is equal to the minimum value of pressure so that is maximum permissible internal pressure is equals to minimum value of pressure out of first and second so which is the minimum value so for first pressure one we got the value as 1.68 newton per mm square and for second pressure we got the value of 1.44 newton per mm square so as per this the minimum value which we are going to consider will be this one okay so this value is more this value is more and taken as permissible internal pressure clear equals to 1.44 newton per mm square then if if i would have taken p is equals to 1.68 newton per mm square then what will be the stress so let us consider p d divided by 4 times nita c into t so in this value if i take p as 1.68 multiplied by 1500 the diameter mm then comes 
फोर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इंटू फिफ्टीन तो सिग्मा वैल्यू विल बी इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सो दिस इज ग्रेटर देन वन ट्वेंटी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर इट विल नॉट सैटिस्फाई देर फोर पी इज वन पॉइंट फोर फोर न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर ओनली ओके सो दिस इज द एफिशियंसी न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑल्सो थैंक यू फॉर watching the video see you in the next video